Hey guys. Hello. So I've been hacking on this thing. <laughs> it's a cluster of wires. This week. It, it's not anything useful. I just wanted to do something to show off the, the MIDI in me. And what Jack I was... Jack me too. Yeah, well, that one's in there. Um, but the point is MIDI control of bending a circuit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this little tiny board right here and this board is sort of self-contained. It's got little legs that go down to my breadboard adapter for it. But this little board came out of one of these, mm -hmm. which is literally a $9 piece Chico. of crap made in China. <laughs> like if you so much as squeeze this thing, the fake plastic break and it doesn't do much of anything. Um, if you leave it on for more than a couple minutes, it eats its batteries. Um, so it's probably dead. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't do the, f the full notes. It only does the, the C major notes or A minor if you want to be in mode seven. That's fancy, I shouldn't be fancy. Um, so yeah, but it does play these stupid demo songs. And I discovered later that it has, um, it was evidently used in some sort of toy drum machine too because it's got hidden functionality in there that plays drum beats so what he did is I tapped into the spots on the back of this little board here this I don't know if we can see in there these little solder points here I'll see if I can get some pictures up close here just show it um, I tapped into the board along there and on a couple of spots in the circuit itself mm-hmm and that allowed me to get power to it and take audio out of it and sort of manipulate it by pushing its buttons. But that, that's fun and all, but I wanted to improve the method. I wanted a microcontroller to push the buttons for me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be able to control when that microcontroller pushed the buttons over MIDI so I could do it with a MIDI keyboard, but more importantly, with a MIDI sequencer, which is what I have going up here on the screen. Mr. Skull. SEQ24. This is a MIDI pattern sequencer. Um, if these are black, they're on. I can turn any of the patterns on or off, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did here is I basically, using our MIDI in me demo, um, allowed when notes zero through whatever are turned on or off using these MIDI control signals from the computer sequencer, it turns off the I.O. pins of the propeller. Mm -hmm. So literally, like, when you press note zero of a, of a MIDI keyboard, it turns on pin zero of the propeller. Mm -hmm. And then I designed some analog circuitry to go along with that idea here, some little NPN transistors and stuff to interface those I.O. pins to various... Um, I, would, I wouldn't call them features because they're basically things I pulled out that weren't pulled out on the keyboard. So um, like one of them, for example, is hooked up to the, the RC oscillating transistors um, base here. So when you turn the I.O. pin on, it basically changes the voltage that's being, uh, the bias that's being applied to that center pin, changing the, the frequency at which this reads samples out of its memory. Mm -hmm. So you can make it read the fast uh, samples really, really slow or really, really fast um, based on how you set this potentiometer voltage divider thing and the state of that pin there will uh, pull it to fast. So you can set it to slow here and then have the sequencer running to pull it fast, pull it fast, pull it fast, pull it fast on a very specific BPM, right? Okay. So you can get this thing into glitchy, fuzzy, crazy mode and then using the sequencer you can actually turn that back into a rhythmic pattern by tweaking the, the sample speeds back and forth and such. I see. So I don't know, um, it's really interesting. I was just trying to come up with something that would show off the MIDI in me with the propeller, um, showing that it can literally control anything from, say, a, a box that's locked and it's a circuit lock. You could press, you know, a chord on the keyboard and if it's the right chord it would unlock the box. Mm -hmm. Or it could make music or it can circuit bend some toy keyboard, you know, it, it 
there is no end to the possibility of what you can actually do with that because mm -hmm. MIDI is sort of universally, you know, there's Available. tons of software out there for it for sequencing it. There's tons of cheap controllers out there for generating the signals without a computer around. Yep. You know. So yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show this off and. You guys can buy that in our store, and we got a whole bunch of them in stock. So, so remind me, what's what is this cord connected to? Um, it's connected to this little box here, which is just a uh, USB to MIDI converter. Oh, I so see. that allows the computer to talk MIDI output to the MIDI input here. MIDI input, and then the MIDI goes to the propeller. The propeller, and what's this going to? This is the audio output of the circuit, and it's just going into the recording studio so we can hear it. Mm. Okay. And I'll play around with this and record some clips of some of the stuff that can do just so you guys can hear it.